Hey guys, great to see you back again and welcome to my new video. In this video, I will demonstrate HTC Sense Home Launcher which is now available to be installed on non-HTC devices. Last month, HTC announced that it will bring its popular HTC Sense Home Launcher to non-HTC devices. But uh, first of all, it will be under closed beta testing. So HTC started sending email invitation to some closed beta testers. Uh, then it will be in uh, public beta testing and the final version will be out in a play store as a stable build. Uh, somehow I managed myself to get the APK but uh, I think it's now available on APK mirror or just go down to the description and you will get a link to download that APK directly from my Google Drive. Just install it as a normal APK and set it as default launcher and uh, you will get this kind of screen is the first run of HTC Sense Home so it's showing me this screen HTC Sense Home uh, actually its design is looking pretty impressive let's see what other pages explain here the next page is about blink feed blink feed is as same as Google Now Cards or Samsung magazine uh, it uh, provides uh, detailed information about nearby events, nearby news and you can attach your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google Plus and other social messenger accounts and third party apps to Blink feed so that uh, you can get those posts with just a swipe of a screen. Uh, if you are using Google Now Launcher, you swipe from left to right to open Google Now. Same thing happens here but instead of Google Now, it opens HTC Blink Feed. The next is about uh, HTC Theme World. Uh, it says you can develop your own themes using Scratch and uh, you can upload it on HTC Theme Network. But for this, you will need an HTC account. Uh, but if you are feeling lazy, you can uh, sign up using Google Plus, Facebook or Steam account. Uh, I will make a separate video on HTC theme network because uh, it's a very different thing than launcher. The next page is about select default wallpaper. I will select HTC wallpaper and last it will ask me to set HTC Sense Home as a default launcher. So guys, this is the first run of HTC launcher. Uh, it's showing me weather widget but it's saying that location unavailable. It just asked me to allow location permission okay i will click allow and uh, it will start showing my current location and weather here uh, this is the default home screen uh, there is nothing different uh, but the app app drawer icon is different here uh, if you swipe from left to right it will open htc blink feed it will ask you to download and add news pub news republic app it's just same as flipboard it will provide you world news finance sports you can attach your twitter account also to get latest tweets on htc blink feed just hold on it says uh, add meal time recommendation to blink feed it says it will ask my precise location and personal apps data i don't care about them just click next and it started showing notifications from twitter then it's showing some news from the website which i visit every day like gizbot apk mirror and it's showing me some some uh, nearby news it says discover new it's nearby and other things then next screen is an empty screen it says tap and hold to get more options you can attach a theme change wallpaper and apps and widgets the widget drawer interface is different than google now or nova launcher here is also option to search for widgets it's pretty good and here is option to separate widgets as shortcuts apps and other things then we get option to edit page in which you can change your default home page of the launcher uh, the last is system settings and last but not in list what's new 
uh, after opening it it shows no content i think this this is a dedicated space for new updates uh, uh, and uh, it's uh, what will you say change log so let's open its app drawer uh, the app drawer uh, it's looking pretty good uh, but it's but it is much different than google now or nova launcher its uh, background is black but uh, still it's a vertical scrolling app drawer uh, we are missing the dedicated search bar which we get in nova or google now launcher but here is the symbol to open search for all apps here is a dedicated button to open google play store and the customization things are pretty good that you can rearrange apps which can you do in sony as well as samsung phone uh, on a stock launcher you can show and hide apps you can change grid size and change wallpaper grid size default one is 4 by 5 you can change it to 3 by 4 also but uh, i will recommend you to use this grid size according to the size of of your mobile screen then uh, here is an option uh, to set or what will you say reorder apps according to custom order alphabetical order or most recent apps order and the most important thing of this uh, launcher uh, is uh, it also provides uh, custom badges uh, under the accounts uh, currently i don't have any kind of notification so i will be unable to demonstrate that uh, so you will not need to install any kind of third party notification badge provider it's a pretty good thing and there is nothing much more special to show in this or to demonstrate in this beta update i will this is htc themes and uh, i will make a different video for this htc theme maker and theme network guys thank you very much for watching my video have a nice day don't forget to like share and subscribe this video and my channel you can connect with me on my wordpress blog blog twitter handler facebook page and other things for that information just scroll down to the description and you will get those appropriate links and the download link is also in there in the description guys please stay tuned for my next video about htc themes thank you very much